Okay, I'd like you to welcome you to eSort and what I thought I would do is I'm going to do a sort of a series of hidden gems of eSort. Now, there are parts of eSort that not that many, that some of you may not actually be aware that has real fantastic hidden gems and I want to look at a, a, a few of them. Now if you notice that there's a thingy called the tools menu. Right, you click on the tools menu and you have Bible reading, daily devotions, prayer requests, scripture memory and etc like that. So you can cr create your own Bible reading program, your day, um, your daily devotions, prayer requests, and memory verses. Hang on, let's have a look at daily devotions. Oh, that brings up an app with all uh, a window with your daily with all your devotionals. Okay, so that's one of the hidden gems. But perhaps the ones that and your Bible reading. Well, here you can create your own Bible reading plan. So that is a fantastic hidden gem there. But one of the, the two of the hidden gems that I really like are these two here. Prayer requests, scripture memory. And these two here are some of the best gems that you actually have. So having a look at, we're going to look at scripture memory. Now this is a nice little tool where you can create your own memory verses and when you once you have created your memory verses you can create sort of memory verse kind of games where you test your memory verses test yourself on your memory verses to see how well you remembered them and so forth like that now you have an option here to to show at the startup of the sort or not so now you have the calendar of your memory verse and things like that. So we're going to do just create one memory verse. So where we have today's memory verse, so we're going to go there and we're going to add a memory verse. And so we're going to add that. And so what you do is you select your favorite translation. Now, as you can see up here, as you can see up here, I've got heaps of translations of the Bible. So what we want to do is, so we'll, we'll go to, um, John, book example. Everyone should know that, but we're going to do that. John chapter 3, verse 16. So we'll get, um, so as you can see, once that is done, so you can have a, so whether it's whatever the um, category you want you have, have so usually John chapter 3 verse 16 is put in the salvation category and so you have that there. Hint idea, general idea and things like that. How much God loves us. So if we put a hint there, God loves us. <laughs> so that's what you could put it down to. So we'll just select uh, the, my favourite translation, which is the New King James Version. And so there it is, right? And so we update it. Salvation, John chapter 3, verse 16. And things like that. So you would compile around that topic salvation all the memory verses like in in john chapter on salvation so even like say as romans chapter 3 verse 23 for all have sinned and come short of the glory of god and etc like that so when you're also doing it rather than using the default name you call uh, you actually give the uh new scripture file uh a new name and you can uh, memory scripture so you can classify that like say salvation memory 
uh, memory verses and things like that. So you could even do that. So you click on the OK button and there we go. So what we'll do is then we'll just get up to, we'll, we'll now um, bring it up there and there's your script, your memory. So it says test memory verse, right? So there it is. So we could f associate, right? Got the hint coming up. God loves us, you see, <laughs> and things like that. So you have all of that. So we got fill in the blanks for God. So loved, you see, you click on the word, the world. that he what gave his only begotten his only so we click only that whoever Right, so then we have there, so for, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes Should not perish but shall have everlasting life. And that's how it works. And so it continues on like that and it sort of scrambles it up and etc. like that. So we just click the OK. So that's how memory verses work. Also you can um, do a word position, right? For God so Loved the world that is only son. Oops, wrong one. Here we go, begotten son that whoever believes in him Oh, it's got another one. Should have, whoops, not perish. I <laughs> made a couple of errors, so I've got one, two, looks like three errors there. but have everlasting life. Yay! So there we go. So it does it again.
you see so you make errors things like that it darkens up and then we go like that and more and oh well that's the most you can get is up to five errors okay so that's how it's done so that's your memory verses a good little ga game to have and like the good thing I like about this is that you can actually um, uh, you can uh, you can actually uh, make this like having competition with your children and things like that and getting them to learn memory verses as well especially young children like it's Sunday school or whatever you can uh, where they have memory verses you can take put the memory verse up on eSword and get them to do it up do it like this on eSword even yourself and how to how you can actually remember eSword so I hope you enjoyed this um, uh, episode of um, the hidden gems of eSword and so with that I want to thank you for your time and God bless you heaps